Roll Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Screw that! It's USA versus UK bitches. This is Celebrity Big Brother 2015. I'm Abby McGoran and here's all your gossip. to Mr. Reed for doing that introduction and guys tomorrow night 15 housemates are going into the celebrity Big Brother house but there are only 14 screens with faces on so it means that two housemates are only going to be cast as one. This is meant to be one hell of an explosive start and a massive introduction to celebrity Big Brother tomorrow where all the housemates are going to be separated into two different groups of seven which means that the fun and games and competitions are going to be starting straight away in what is said to be one of the most explosive and exciting starts to the season. So guys, I'm thinking we should start off with a tour of our brand new spanking house. It's going to be glistening and let's start off with the living room. There is going to be nowhere to hide in this living room. As you can see, it's completely round. You've got all the cushions of America and of England. It's the perfect setting for everyone to do their face-to-face -face nomination. Do you want fries to go with that in our American kitchen? Yeah, it's an American diner, and I'm a little bit bored of it already. This is the place where everyone spends the most amount of time, yet it's not an English and British theme. So a little bit disappointed with an American diner. I think they could have gone a lot more glamorous, a lot more luxurious than this. I literally feel like someone's chucked me in a 70s film of American diners back in the day. It's really, really weird. I don't like it. It's the Statue of Liberty! And this is what's in the garden. I love this statue, this is amazing. But it is pretty much, yet again, another big feature of the house. So two things now, the diner and also the Statue of Liberty, which is very Americanized, which annoys me a little bit. Because all we have in the background is a little bit of either Windsor Castle or one of the castles, and then you've got the fort, where people can just go and sit and hang out with at the top, which I think think actually it could be used as punishment in the next couple of weeks maybe some people will be kept up there it looks a little bit nasty and then we come into the bathroom now this is pretty much yet again the same as the summertime everything is now we come into the bathroom which is basically the same as the summertime apart from the fake aquarium has been taken away and now it's been replaced by a little bit of big ben and austin might be going in the big brother house so ladies you might see two big vents, if you get what I mean. But otherwise, apart from that, it's a very much a red room, which then brings me into the bedroom. Now, the bedroom actually looks freaking wicked. Take a look at this. This looks amazing. Loads and loads of space. There's a really cool glamour part for the ladies that can do their hair, get their extensions in, do their eyelashes, make themselves up, especially for the porn stars going in, and making themselves look a little bit more decent if that's really applicable. But apart from that, it does look really cosy. There's lots of double beds in there, but there's also, yet again, lots of singles. So we'll have to see who goes for whose bed. Now, the American theme has been quite strong in the Big Brother house so far. I'm pretty sure you would agree. But don't worry, the English fans. We have got a really big area. This one right here. Yes, it's the lounge area where we have a couple of posh leather chairs and in true British style, a bulldog. Yes, the Americans got the massive Statue of Liberty, and we've got that. Seriously, look, ridiculous. It kind of gets me already feeling very competitive that England must win this competition. And the moment you've all been waiting for, the Big Brother dining room and chair. I absolutely love it. How cool is this? Now with the chair, in the previous photos, the bottom at bit actually was gold. They've now changed it back to silver, so that's a little bit of insight for you. Other than that, it looks so snug. It looks so comfy. I love the eye on the background. It looks so cool. Guys, enjoy the vlog, but I might just continue chilling out here. So we've looked around our new abode and now it's time to get to business. Who's exactly going in the Celebrity Big Brother house? Well, seven of our housemates are actually pretty much confirmed, so let's run through them. Starting off with our couple who are going in the Big Brother house, Stevie Ritchie and Chloe Jasmine. But I'm a little bit excited that they're going in the Celebrity Big Brother house because I am certain that this is not a real relationship. I'm pretty sure they probably have the same management. They've been hooked up to get another five minutes of fame together. Chloe is really domineering. She is Marmite. No one likes her. And then you've got Stevie Ritchie. Does he really look like the type of person that would be Chloe Jasmine's type? No! 
through because it's a fix. It is not, it's a showmance. It is not a real relationship and I hope they prove me wrong but that is what I think at the moment. I think the cracks are really going to start to come out in the Celebrity Big Brother house. If they don't play it right, they're going to really, really lose out. They're going to look like mugs. So it's going to be interesting to see how they actually come across. Are they very coupley? Are they very much in love? Because you can't escape the Big Brother cameras. We're going now from our two housemates to just one, and that's Tila Tequila. She's pretty much confirmed herself on Facebook and also put her Twitter name as Tila Tequila CBB. Slight giveaway there. I'm liking her being in the Celebrity Big Brother house, though, if she does go in. A shot at love with Tila Tequila used to be on TV years ago, and I absolutely used to love it. I think, though, that she might be the kind of personality the bosses think is going to go mental, going to go crazy. I think she's actually just going to be a really nice person in the house. I think it's a good idea to stick with the ladies for all you guys out there. So the next one that I'm going to be talking about that's pretty much confirmed herself again is Jenna Jameson. Now I haven't actually heard of Jenna Jameson before but I hear she is a porn star so she's probably going to be getting her tits out again. She says she's arrived in London. She had a photo shoot on Monday which is coincidentally when actually all of the housemates had their photos taken and also posted an Instagram photo of her holding the American flag. Slap my ass and call me Abby. If that isn't a clue, I don't know what is. She's pretty much confirmed. But we're not just going to have women getting their tits out, we're also going to have Sherry! I love this lady on Loose Women, she is hilarious, she's so funny, she gives it everything, and I think she's going to add a lot of humour. If she's anything like Denise as well, maybe, for all you older gentlemen, you might get a bit of a good view. Yes, that's right, Christopher Ellison is also rumoured to be entering the Celebrity Big Brother house. If he's got anything like his gumption in the bill, I'm hoping that he's going to be speaking up for the older generation and hopefully showing his fun side. And who knows, he might be friends with our next celebrity Big Brother guest, and that's Daniel Baldwin. Daniel Baldwin should have had some pretty good techniques as to how to stay in the Big Brother house, seeing as his brother Stephen went in many years ago, back when Davina McCall was actually presenting the show. With Daniel, apparently he loves the Lord. Maybe he's just gonna turn everyone holy and maybe the porn stars start wrapping up. The next and final actual housemate to be rumoured and pretty much confirmed to be going in is Austin Armacost. Now he is a reality star back in America which is probably going to give him so much ammunition because he knows what he's doing in front of those cameras. He also used to date Mark Jacobs. This guy knows what he's doing and I think a force to be reckoned with and someone to really watch out for. So to run through a couple of extra housemates that have been rumoured, we've got Natasha Hamilton from England, and we've also got Paul Denan, which would be hilarious, Farah Abraham from America, who was on Team Mum, and who's also another porn star, that would make three in the whole Celebrity Big Brother house. Also, Janice Dickinson is rumoured to go in, and I love this lady, she will not keep it shut. She will tell you exactly what she thinks. She is going to be the most amazing housemate. And I don't want to put it out there too quickly because it hasn't even started and it hasn't been confirmed. But if Janice Dickinson goes in, I would put her as one of the potential winners of Celebrity Big Brother 2015. There is that it. It's done. It's done. It's done. So I think it looks like an amazing series of Celebrity Big Brother. I think though it's a bit excessive with three porn stars. I don't think we need that much. I do want to see some really fit guys. There doesn't seem to be a really hunky guy which I would want to see their body. I also think the USA versus the UK theme is a little bit lazy. I mean let's face it, Celebrity Big Brother always has a mixture of American and English celebrities. And let's get one thing straight, the English are not going to want to lose on their own TV show. So the competition is coming in thick and fast. I can't wait. Guys, that's your gossip for Celebrity Big Brother 2015, but it's only just the start. I'm going to be vlogging throughout the whole course of the series, and believe me, I don't hold back. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on YouTube. I've been Abby McGoran, see you next time.